This August 19th through the 21st, Audio Advice presents the premier audio and video experience. Whether you're into high performance audio, home theater, two channel, turntables, or headphones, Audio Advice Live is the only premier high end audio and video show where you can experience it all. Meet face to face with the industry's top experts, brands, and influencers, and hear all the latest and greatest gear live and in person. Audio Advice Live. We'll see you there. This August 19th through the 21st, audio. Hello, everyone. Welcome to CoBuzz Live. I'm David Solomon, and I am here with some of my good friends from Audio Advice and a few of the folks that are going to be uh, are, are going to be attending the uh, Audio Advice Live event uh, that's coming up. So we are really, really looking forward to uh, to this show. Uh, there's never been anything like this in this region. Um, so all of us in the Southeast are really, really happy to, uh, to, uh, to have this, uh, to have this show, uh, happening in, in, in our region. It's going to be happening in Raleigh, North Carolina. Um, let's see, let me pull up the, um, the actual live. So it's going to be here. It's going to be at the Sheridan Hotel. Uh, the 19th through the 21st of, uh, of August. And uh, it's from it's really actually from an old, from some old friends of mine. Uh, I've known uh, these guys for, for many, many years. And the guy that I'm going to bring up to begin with is, uh, is, has just been a, such a great friend and a mentor for me for, well over 30 years. Uh, this is a uh, gentleman named Leon Shaw, who actually opened up audio advice uh, years ago. Leon, welcome, buddy. Thank you. Happy to be here, David. I'm Gosh, glad. if I'm your mentor, we've known each other 30 years. That makes me almost 70 years old, which I am. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was it was something like that. It was it Leon, uh, he's one of those guys that uh doesn't speak much. And when oh, he you're did, gonna tell that story, huh? <laughs> well, you know, it's just um it it's 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 such a great story because it's it's so true. Um we used to call Leon. I, I still do. I call him the EF Hutton of, of audio. So the guy never really spoke much, but when he did, it could be in a whole room full of people. Um, I went through many, many meetings with like the, the, some of the larger buying groups and Leon was always there and people were always chatting up. And, and as soon as Leon opened his mouth, it's like a room of a hundred people just totally just shut up and listen to what Leon had to say Leon's built one of the best uh, high end audio video uh, showrooms. Uh, I'm not going to say in the Southeast, I'm going to say in the United States. Uh, and Leon, I got to tell you, I I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of audio advice. Well, thank you. We've just been really lucky to have such a great team and really passionate people who care as much about good sound and customer service as I do. So uh, just lucky to have everybody around us. It's so awesome. Well, thank, thank, thanks so much. And um, we'll tell you a little bit about Cobuzz in, in just a bit. But, but, but before we do that, um, I'm going to bring on someone else that's just super important at Audio Advice, Jonathan Stevens. And Jonathan, hey, buddy, how are you? I'm doing well. How are you, David? Uh, well, you know, I'm just really kind of trying to figure out uh, if you're just, uh, uh, you know, a total masochist trying to put together a show like this in, in four months. I, I can't believe how much you've gotten accomplished uh, that, or that you were ever even able to do this. Um, Jonathan, when did you guys start thinking about doing the, the audio advice live show? Yeah, it's a, it's a great question. And, and obviously it's a huge, huge team effort. We've, we've got a lot of folks, you know, some of the best in the industry uh, supporting us in many, many ways, but Leon can probably certainly talk to, uh, what we have done for many, many years called Music Matters, which has been an, an awesome event. We've done that in both Raleigh and in Charlotte. We have, you know, all of our great brand partners supporting those events up until COVID. And we'd have, you know, around 350 folks in Raleigh and then turn around and do it all over again the next day in Charlotte. And again, it was a great way to work with our brands and partners and show off some really cool experiences and gear. And of course, uh, you know, interact really closely with our customers. And then COVID happened. Right. So we haven't been able to do anything for really the last two years. 
But when we were thinking about this year, we're like, hey, let's, what are we thinking about for Music Matters this year? And the reality was we just had far more interest, both from our, our brand partners and from our consumers, our customer base in the triangle. And obviously with the growth of our, our online platform um, that we could really accommodate in our stores. And so uh, Leon, myself, Scott, a couple other folks on the team really sort of thought about, you know, if we're going to do this, uh, you know, can we go big? And thus Audio Advice Lab was born. And um, it's been great to see the team really rally behind this big effort. It's it, from everybody in the company has really gotten behind this in a big, big way. And we socialized this idea with a lot of our you know, brand partners who I know many of you're going to introduce here in just a few minutes. Uh, and when we asked them, you know, what do you think if we put on this huge event in the triangle and universally all of our brand partners were like, absolutely, we're super fired up about it and we can't wait to be part of it. And so it was great to hear the enthusiasm that they had for the event. And then it's just, you know, a few small details to make it happen. A few, <laughs> a year's worth of work in four months, basically. But uh, much, they, these, they have just been cranking it, David. I'm so proud of the team of everything they've done. Listen, I, I'm involved in most of the shows that are around the United States, and they they don't they don't plan for a year. They plan for like a year and a half. I mean, these things. There's so much. Uh, there's so many moving parts to put together something like this that. You know, I can't even believe you guys tried it. I could see it next year, but not this year. As a result, I'm talking to people that don't know about this show, that should know about the show. And so I was talking to Leon and uh, Jonathan. I'm going, you know, I know we don't have a lot of time before the show, but let's do a CoBuzz Live and at least tell people that don't know. If you happen to be one of the manufacturers, uh, and w Jonathan and I were talking about this uh, a couple of weeks ago. It was about, I think, three weeks ago, right before I went to Cancun, or I would have been even promoting it more. I was, I was asking him, you know, is it okay if, if people join the, the group and want to do the show, even if you guys don't carry them? And you, what did you say to me, Jonathan? Yeah, absolutely. And we see it. We're trying to really create the premier audio and video experience and event in the country. And so thankfully we have a lot of tremendous partners, you know, that are part of the audio advice umbrella and, you know, family of brands that we work with. But we also wanted to, you know, invite other brands too is a great way to really add more and more credibility and more and more experiences to the show. And so we felt like, Hey, it's a great way to, you know, continue to entertain and, you know, evaluate new brands and also bring opportunities for those brands uh, to provide great experiences for the folks that are going to be attending this show. This is just a few of the brands that these guys have got coming. That, but and unlike the other shows in the United States, which I love them, I go to every single one of them. We support every single one of them. But unlike um, the other shows in the United States, they've got great brands here, the same. But instead of just the uh, stores that carry these products. Uh, involved, um, they've actually got the manufacturers involved um, or the main distributors. Um, and we've got some of those folks on the on the show today to talk a little bit about, you know, why they went for Audio Advice Live and and uh, and, the, and maybe some of the product that they're going to be showing that's going to be um, that's going to be new. Uh, yeah. but guys, wow! Uh, congratulations on a great show. If, I'm sure that it's probably too late to hop in. To, if they, do you have any rooms left? We actually do have a few of our exhibiting rooms in the in the main tower of the Sheraton downtown. So if there are any brands that are still interested, we do have a couple of spots left. We are certainly right at the right at the end here before we're finalizing all of our room numbers to send out to folks. So they know who, where to go see a lot of these experiences, but we have a couple left. So if folks are interested, they certainly can reach out to us. So I got to tell you, at CoBuzz, we we are very, very much uh, uh, very proud to be helping to sponsor this this show. Absolutely. Yeah, and we appreciate your support in a big way. We appreciate it, David. Yeah, well, it, it's it's great. And then there's something I didn't do when we started. So I'm going to take you, both of you guys off of screen. We're going to talk a little bit about CoBuzz, um, but you guys have done a, a special playlist for the show, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So when you walk we'll into the chairs and well, you can tell us more about it then, absolutely. Yeah, we use Cobuzz all over the store all the time. I use it for all my demo tracks. You know, it's it's awesome. Uh, thank, thank, thanks very much for saying so, Leon. We'll be back in just a minute and we'll talk a little bit about Cobuzz and then we're going to start bringing on some of our other guests. Sounds great. All right, folks. Well, we have just come so far in four years. Um, we went from, um, I still remember the very first CD that we did, and I think it was 20, 
17. Um, and people were going, you know, what's what's Cubas? What's what is that? Quobas? Kaba? Nobody knew how to even pronounce it. They didn't know what it was. And over the last four years, we've really become the um, the uh, preferred streaming format for most of the manufacturers and most all of the dealers. We've got some fantastic partners out there showing them. Most any store that you walk into, you'll you'll see Cobuzz and and be able to hear Cobuzz. And and most of the manufacturers and and most of the major shoes shows use Cobuzz to uh, demo with. We started out with about thirty million tracks, and I can still remember the pain that we all felt with 30 million tracks because people were calling us up all the time going, and why don't you have this? Why don't you have that? And well, now we're up to like over 80 million. Let me uh, get myself out of this thing. I think this will work. <laughs> no, no worries. We're just going to, we're just going to go with this. streaming services like oh a connect um but uh we're actually store this is a way that we help um that we help um support artists uh everybody knows i think that when people stream they're not really supporting the artists that well uh, because it's just the way that that the the system is set up. We pay the uh, labels, and then the labels decide what they're paying the artists, which has not been very much. This way, if you do belong to uh, Cobuzz, uh, and you don't even have to have a subscription, you can actually just go to Cobuzz.com, uh, download anything you want to, and you're supporting your artists in a way that they can really appreciate. Um, so we've got tons of editorial. All of our editorial is done in-house. And uh, it's one of the big reasons that people uh, love Cobuzz because you can read about all, so many artists. It's not just about the music. It's also about the, uh, the people behind the music. We've got several plans these days. You can do a single plan for like $10.83 a month which if you uh, have been following Cobus, we started out at $25 a month. $10.83 a month is like so cheap to get, you know, uh, so much high resolution music. We've also got a duo plan. If so, you and your partner uh, for $15 a month can stream. Or we've also got a family plan that includes like up to uh, six people that uh, that you can get for, um, for uh, uh, $17 a month. So that is Cobas. Let me take this out. So let's bring everybody back in. We hope you all join us for Cobas if you haven't joined us in the past. So we're going to just start bringing up uh, different folks that are that are that are going to be here and and be on the show. We'll first talk about a little bit about why you guys decided to even join the uh, join the club. And then a little bit later, we're going to start talking about uh, start talking about uh, um, some of the product that you guys are bringing. So first, let's bring on Mark Cassavant, good friend of mine from Clips. Hello, Mark. You're on mute. OK. There Hi, Dan. How you doing? Good, man. How are you doing? Great, great. It's summer. It's everyone's feeling Florida heat. Right <laughs> That's true. Everybody except us. We uh, we just haven't had a, had much uh, hot weather at all. I'm I'm still looking forward to it for for some kayak. And so you yeah. uh, you guys at Clips decided to to join the party. Why? Well, I'll just say this another about, show, right? Yeah. Well, audio advice live. This is going to be a who's who in audio. I think. And uh, the timing is really great for, for us. And, and we're so thrilled to uh, join with uh, Leon and Jonathan and the whole crew. We, we really appreciate their events and their uh, customer touch points. Uh, we've done Music Matters. It's just always a fun time to interact with customers and our industry friends. But uh, yes, we are bringing something uh, a big, something big. 
Oh, don't tell me now. We're going to get into that in just a minute. But right. Mark, we're really glad that you and uh, that, that you and Klipsch have decided to join us. But you're not actually going to be there, right? You're sending some pretty special people, though. Oh, for sure. Uh, Paul Klipsch's protege, Mr. Roy Delgado, um, and then uh, some veterans like Mike Dyer. And then, of course, Jim Kaziki, our Eastern Regional, who's just a great guy. So, yeah, you're going to be in really good hands. And um, if I can, uh, I will squeeze down there. Uh, my schedule's a little crazy right now, but it's not for lack of wanting. And I'd love to see you and hang out and have a beer or something, you know. Yeah, yeah, no, I've already, I've already uh, chastised Mark uh, for not being there, and I'm going. You know, if there's any way you can make it, um, <sighs> you know, you you really need to make this one because it's going to be so much fun. I am looking forward to this year's show, but I got to tell you, I'm looking forward to next year's show because everybody's going to see how much fun we had, and everybody's going to want to join in this time. So, Jonathan, if you're listening, buddy, I think you're going to maybe need a bigger venue or just warn these guys oh next year it's going to be twice as big as it was the next guy i'm going to bring out is another good friend of mine jeff coates hello jeff what is happening you How are, are you happening doing? my man jeff is from yeah. fine sounds and represents a bunch of cool lines but i think this uh, particular uh show we're going to be talking about a couple of things you're bringing in from project well, we've got all kinds. And I just, you know, first off, a shout out to the whole crew at Audio Advice. I mean, that's, you know, we we had sort of this strange thing industry wide and in that we had a show that we all knew and loved that was happening in, in the fall. And there was a big hole without it. Uh, so it was really cool to see Audio Advice stepping up and not just going for uh, their traditional sort of Music Matters event, but going big. This is an audacious endeavor and we are delighted to be supporting it with all our brands across the Macintosh and Fine Sounds group. So uh, we're going to be stepping up really big. Um, and we're even just found out today, we're even going to be bringing two of our automotive OEM sound systems. So we're going to have world-class wow. audio featuring Cobas down at ground level. Wow. And all up through the towers and in through the demonstration room. So uh, we're just delighted to be a part of it. By the way, everybody that we've got coming on the show today have got fabulous playlists on uh, on um, uh, Cobuzz. So if you go on Cobuzz and you're looking for them, just so for for, for um, Project, look up Project. That's all you have to do. When you look for Klipsch, uh, just type in Klipsch and you'll see a bunch of their, their, their playlists as well. Audio Advice has got some absolute wonderful playlists. And they they've actually titled their so that you uh, so that you really know what they're about. One of them is about um, how to tune your system. Another one's like what to listen for in headphones. There's some, they're probably, I'd, I'd say a good dozen uh, playlists from audio advice up there. And these guys know how to listen. So um, that's a really, really fun place on our, on our, um, uh, on, on Cobus. And, and, and it, like I say, everybody that you're going to see has got a, got a playlist up there. So just look them up. And, and I think we're going to be uh, actually uh, uh, sharing some of these things on chats. We're not answering a lot of questions on this show only because um, we've got so many people, but we'll do our best to go back. And if there are questions asked in the comments, we'll um, we'll we'll uh, let you know uh, or we'll we'll uh, we'll get to them. Uh, Jeff, thanks uh, for being here, buddy. I really appreciate it. We've got another fellow, Ricky Miranda. How are you doing, Ricky? You're on mute. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm doing great. Doing really great. Um, thanks for having me. Excited to, to talk to everybody here. Really excited to be at the show. Um, we were lucky enough to sit down with Jonathan and Nick the other day and talk specifically about what Rotel is going to be bringing um, in, in a lot of depth. But I'm, I'm really excited. We're going to have two really big systems, one of which uh, is partnered with somebody else that's on screen right now. And then one of which is going to be powering some of our sister brand Sonus Faber speakers. Really excited to show off the, the Michi stuff this week or this uh, next month. Thanks for being here, buddy. We really yeah. appreciate it. These are all people from the factory or from the main distributors. And, uh, you know, we're just happy to have them all. Uh, next guy up, another big shot. Uh, you guys may know Nick Brown from the SVS Happy Hours. Um, Nick, I, I, that, you guys, along with Klipsch, get more people watching your live streams than anybody I've ever seen. What, what's sort of the average number of people that you guys get nick 
Well, first of all, I've never been called a big shot, so I got to add that to my LinkedIn profile <laughs> because uh, that's a special uh, tag to be uh, named with there. But uh, I mean, we, we get a couple thousand. And I'm not going to pretend like the giveaways don't help pad those stats a little bit, but uh, we have a lot of fun. We try to make it conversational, get some good guests on. But uh, it's uh, I mean, this is all about the Audio Advice Live show. And, and I did want to share a little insight. I've seen Jonathan. We've we've been fortunate enough to get back on the road this year and do Expona and do the home entertainment show in Long Beach. And Jonathan is going to all of these shows and doing reconnaissance to find out what's working, what's great, what what shouldn't I do? And so the level of uh, commitment that they have to building this event, not just to make it um, you know great with the manufacturers, but to create an experience for the end user that's really going to be uh, rewarding and, and help them uh, sort of engage their passion. I just think it's phenomenal. So uh, kudos to you, John. I know you've been a Jonathan, you've been a road warrior here uh, doing all that. And, uh, you know, the other thing I want to say is like, this is not going to be your traditional two channel hi-fi show. I mean, we're doing a multi-channel demonstration in one of the hotel rooms. We are doing a two channel as well, but then we're also doing a bigger system in the JVC setup too, which is going to be all about home theater. So I love the fact that you're not sort of curtailing or sort of focusing this strictly on two channel, which I feel like a lot of the regional shows are all about. This has the potential to be one of the marquee audio events of the year, uh, year after year. So I just couldn't be more excited. Yeah. Thanks, Nick. Appreciate it. it means a lot. Thanks, Nick. And we will be dem demoing a lot of Cobas there. We actually have some of our uh, tracks that we use to voice our speakers listed on our Koba speaker and subwoofer demo tracks. So, uh, David, I would encourage you to share that out. I know you've got a lot of those uh, playlists uh, on cue now, but uh, you know we use it for all of our demonstrations. Uh, in addition to things like Ninja Turtles and Ghostbusters and, and some of the stuff that I think people aren't accustomed to hearing at audio shows. But uh, you know, we, we just like to kind of bring the full breadth of content to engage like anyone who's. Uh, you know, interested in, in just high performance audio at the show. Yeah. So the worst thing about going into an SVS home theater demo, and yes, there is a worse thing about it. You don't want to leave. They stop, you know, they stop. And it's like, everybody's, you know, like right on the edge of their seat. And all of a sudden right. the demo goes away. You're going, oh, hold on. That was, that was the good part. <laughs> That's the only bad thing about it. So tell me uh, who else is going to be there from SVS, Nick? So we'll have the normal happy hour crew with Gary and Larry, and then we're bringing some of our staff who doesn't really get to travel very much. We're trying to broaden out a little bit and get some of the folks who uh, don't get to meet face to face with a lot of our uh, community or, or the audio community in general. So we couldn't think of a better opportunity uh, than Audio Vice Live to have those folks sort of be immersed in the uh you know, just this this whole world of high performance audio. You know, we we've been working from home and you know, a lot of them are you know, working in operations in our warehouse. So uh, this is just going to be a great opportunity for them to get FaceTime with the people who are actually helping to move this industry forward, which I think is going to be an invaluable experience for the staff. You know, I've got to say this. I'm, I'm really not trying to bl blow warm sunshine up Jonathan and Leon's skirt. Um, they've always been a leader. They've always done things a little different and a little better than most of the, uh, than most of the, uh, uh, shops out there. And I've just got an immense respect for how they typically just think out of the box. It, it really, it shows, it shows when you walk in, I think it's going to show uh, during this, uh, during this event. So yeah, I totally agree. Well, yeah. Hey, let's bring on a couple more folks. Uh, we're going to bring on uh, uh, John Mahoney from Debbie How are you doing, John? Hey, I'm great. Thanks for having me. Hey man, we're we're happy to have you and and uh, happy to have Debbie LA uh, showing up. That's another one that that really you don't see a lot of the factory people show up at a normal show. Uh, you may see representation with maybe a shop or or something. They're almost at mo most all of these brands are at the shows. But once again, John, how long have you been with uh, Debbie LA now? I'm in my sixth year now, so I actually started off working in our store in Soho, and um, now I'm the regional manager for the Americas. Um, I work with audio advice and accounts such as that, hi-fi stores. And yeah, we've been taking a real boots on the ground approach lately, um, loving trade shows as always. I think that's you know where our product shines the most is being able to experience it. Fantastic. Who else is going to be there from WLA? Uh, yeah, the regular Road Warrior crew. I have Sanjay Sharma coming with me, who some of you guys may know. Um, he just joined us on the team. 
about five or six months ago. He's been great. Um, that was him and I doing Exponent, and then we're bringing Nick from the marketing team as well. Um, all of us love to talk about the product and love to demo the product, so I think it's a good environment for us. Fantastic. Jeff, I didn't ask you, because uh, you're, you're really just, if it were just Jeff, it would be just enough, Oof. but uh, are you bringing anybody with you, Jeff? Well, we, we better. We're shipping in literally a ton of audio product. <laughs> I kid you not. So if it was just me, there'd be a pretty big... Your work cut out. Uh, yeah, exactly. Okay, so, no, so Jen Wakefield, Bart LaPiccolo, uh, Woody Compton, so sort of our, our key sales guys for the uh, for Sodas Faber and the Macintosh side of the business will be there. Uh, myself, of course. Uh, Ricky Miranda will be down representing, uh, representing Rotel. Uh, and I'm sure that there's three or four others that I am forgetting. Uh, one of our newer employees, Robert Quashus, is going to be helping us out with the Macintosh OEM systems. Uh, thanks to our partners at Jeep and both the Grand Cherokee and Grand Wagoneer. Brand new Grand Wagoneer, right? Yeah. Like that. I can't wait sweet. to see that thing. So we're uh, we're gonna have we're gonna be bringing in a big crew. They're gonna need a bus to bring us in from the airport. But. So usually to get a crew like this, guys, you would have to go to the Munich show, and that's what I was telling Jonathan Stevens. Um, I don't know when he first started telling me about this, I was getting so excited. I'm going, nobody does this in the United States. It's like the last time I saw this many people with Jeff was literally like in Munich. Yeah. Uh, you never see this many people. It might be Jeff and Buzz because those guys are true road warriors, but typically it's going to be, you know, maybe those two never get to see this kind of a, a, a huge crowd. So if there's something that you're wanting to know about these brands and you want to know it straight from the horse's mouth, um, this is the, this is a great place to do it. And, and last I time, forget, last I forget, I apologize. Will Klein will also be there representing Sonus Faber. So, uh, we're bringing the whole crew. The I wish setup we man. Go. We'll also have Darren Orth, the Rotel CTO, will be there. So if you want to ask some real nerdy Rotel questions, this yes. is the time. <laughs> he is the man. This is this is fantastic. This really is shaping up to be the show of the you know of the century so far for <laughs> uh, for for the United States. There are other shows around the around the world that that will that are going to be like this that you get you that you go and you see these kinds of manufacturers and and that this kind of rep, reputation but if you go to one today it bet it's going to be in europe it's either going to be munich or uh perhaps the uh the uh, the show in poland uh but not very many at all so yeah. guys again we got a big vision so again we appreciate everybody on this you know on this call on this uh show supporting us in a big way and leon Obviously, he's been in the industry forever, and he's built tremendous relationships. And I think it means a lot that the folks are showing up uh, to support Leon and obviously to support Audio Vice in this, this big effort. So thanks again, everyone. I may, maybe we're going to go over this one day. I don't think I'm going to have time to do it right now. But one day, we're going to we're gonna have Leon back on, and, and he's going to tell us uh, how he won. <laughs> <laughs> I think about that often. Um, okay, the, the last guy I'm bringing on, and and... I'll say, I don't know, I, I shouldn't say I saved the best for last, but but <laughs> Jonathan Durda is one of my very best friends in the world, and I just love him to death. We actually worked together uh, for, for a, a nice period, and it was just some of the most fun times I ever had working with John. John's from MoFi, and uh, man, they have just exploded over the last, I would say, six years or so really since john came with them these guys have just become an incredible distributor and um it was a i guess it was about maybe a year ago um hi there's a brand called hi-fi rose that contacted me we had actually been working with them worldwide and 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 i said well gosh this is such a cool product how are you guys going to be going to business and and the fellow's Korean, really nice guy. He says, well, we think we're going to go on Amazon. And I'm going, yeah, no, you're not. <laughs> I'm going, let me set you up with these guys from MoFi. And at least they can, they know everybody. They're good guys and they're very knowledgeable. Uh, so I called John up and, and, and they picked up the line. How you doing, buddy? Uh, I'm doing well. It's great seeing you. See all of you guys. Some of you haven't seen in, uh, in a few years. Mark, hey, good to see you. Jeff, everybody. Glad to be here and uh, really excited about Audio Advice Live. You know, I was thinking uh, as you were asking the questions of everybody, you know, why are you doing this show? Uh, if you recall, when I was working with you, uh, one of the very first stores you sent me to was Audio Advice. And it was the only time I was nervous. 
<laughs> because you and Jim Spainauer just praised these guys so much. I thought there's no way I'm qualified to even walk in their store. <laughs> but sure enough, the first two guys that greeted me, number one was Ivan, and then it was Leon himself. And within five minutes, both of them made me feel right at home. And we've had a great working relationship ever since. And, you know, they're one of the best retailers in the country. And that hasn't changed uh, since that first visit. So really happy to join you guys uh, at your first big show. Thank you, John. I look at everybody when you were saying that uh, those last few words and everybody's just kind of shaking their head uh, that they're in agreement. So, yeah, this is going to be really a lot of fun. So we're uh, audio advice is also lined up for this show. And I cannot believe we've already we're already halfway through the show. Uh, we'll we'll be stopping around five. But you know what? Just like all of my shows that typically go over, if we're not finished, we're just going to keep going and you know if we want to have fun then we'll just we'll just have a little bit of fun and i've got i'm super super embarrassed that i that i sort of messed this up but i i i did <laughs> where was spell check <laughs> this is one of the uh this is when i'm hoping i can actually show this but this is one of the there we go. That's a little better. This is one of the prizes that we're giving away. Um, Heather, I, if you would, in the um, in the comments, uh, add in uh, the link that people can go to to sign up for these prizes that we're just about to talk to talk about. Um, Jonathan, you know a little bit about this speaker, right? Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, <laughs> Heco, H E C O. Uh, is a brand. It's it's a, been a, a brand in Germany that is very very well known. One of the largest brands uh, in Germany, and we were uh, privileged to be one of the partners to help bring them over to the U.S. And they've just been an incredible partner. Great sound, incredible value uh, for the performance that you're able to get. And so we're happy to give be giving away, uh, in addition to a couple other things that I think we'll mention here in just a minute, uh, a pair of these bookshelves that just sound amazing, punch way above their belt for the price. Uh, Leon, I think, can attest to that as well as others on the on this who've uh, also heard them. So if, you, if you're the lucky winner, I can promise you, you're going to be very, very happy. You certainly will. Those little guys sound amazing for the money. So, Leon, I remember years ago, and I, I'm, I don't ever remember it any different, but anything that, that came through Hi-Fi Buys, it usually made it to Leon's house for, you know, a few months before uh, before this, that it, it ever got into uh, audio advice. Is it the same way? You still do that, Leon? Oh, yeah. I tried out all the Hickos. Very cool. Very cool. Next thing that we're going to be giving away is a pair of SoundPath subwoofer isolation systems. Oh, by the way, we're going to be giving away six months worth of Cobus for all of the winners. So if you win these speakers, we'll give you uh, we'll give you your music for at least a half a year. Uh, SoundPath subwoofer isolation systems. Man. If you've got a subwoofer and you don't have something like this, you, you should. Uh, Nick, I didn't even know you guys had these. Tell, tell me a little bit about it. Sure. So what these uh, basically do is decouple your subwoofer from the floor. So all of that energy that might be rattling the windows or causing your little knickknacks to fall off the shelves uh, will no longer be an issue. They, they really take that sonic energy and put it back into the air and keep it from, uh, again, you know, disturbing your neighbors and also uh, having some of those distracting room rattles. And we've also had people use them on turntables, uh, full, full range speakers, anything where vibrational energy could affect performance. These just, again, decouple it from the room, allowing it to not have any of those issues that are caused by sort of that, uh, that secondary energy where it might be uh, you know, distracting or, or causing any sort of artifacts. So with these, I had the same problem with, with, this product as I do many uh, uh, SVS products. They're so, it's so inexpensive. I cannot believe that these things are only like 49 bucks. Is that right? Yep. 49 99. They work with uh, pretty much any brand of subwoofer. And even if the, uh, the screws that are threaded through don't fit, you can use little, you know, double-sided tape that we provide. So uh, just really a great solution to, to add just a, a little bit of extra performance. You know, I know everyone, audiophiles especially, are always trying to eke out that extra little bit. Uh, and it's just a great solution that's not super expensive to get there. Make sure you go to that uh, website and, uh, and, and, and add your name and your email address. And, and, you know, hopefully you'll, uh, 
you'll be the one who wins this. But there's a there's a slide that got deleted. I'm, I apologize, but there, Nick has also given away something else that's going to be really really cool, which is an SB three thousand subwoofer. This is really what S, this is really what SVS was known for to begin with is their subwoofers. They make some of the absolute best subwoofers out there at prices that you just go, are you kidding me? Um, so they're going to be giving away an SB. 3000 and you guys are you know really stepping up and they're also giving away a uh, sound path hdmi cable this one won't come with the uh, uh, uh six months cobuzz but <laughs> it'll at least come with the uh it'll at least come with the prize so uh hey thanks very much i very much appreciate you uh you guys um hopping in and 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 doing this so no I, I think if there's you know if you don't have enough reasons to go to audio advice live why not go to win something so you know there's nothing better than than showing up and walking home with a free subwoofer or i guess or an hdmi cable so uh i mean i think it's it's great that they're doing that it just uh it just makes it that much more fun yeah, so make sure that you uh, register. So we are going to be, you know, to begin with, we're going to go ahead and bring uh, Nick up uh, again, and we're going to talk a little bit about uh, a couple of things that you guys are doing at the show. Uh, you're going to be doing, what, some two channels, some some 5.1. Tell us what you're going to be doing. Sure. So we're going to have two of the uh, the hotel suites uh, adjoining. One of those is going to be a 5.2.2. So your traditional five channels of surround sound with our prime pinnacle towers that you see there uh, with our uh, ultra center as well as our prime elevation. So uh, you'll get to actually experience Dolby Atmos object based surround sound with the, uh, the height effects coming into play there. Uh, and then in these uh, hotel rooms, we're going to have our SP3000. So the subwoofer we're actually giving away will be on demonstration in a uh, dual configuration in one of the rooms. And then I'm not at liberty to tell you what's going to be in our two channel room because it's a bit of a surprise. Uh, but if you have Google, it's probably the worst kept secret as far as uh, what we have coming down the pipeline uh, for our wireless audio gear. So, uh, you know, I don't even know why I'm grandstanding here, but we will have a two channel room with some surprises that I'm trying to keep secret. And then What's also, oh, did you have a, something to say there? No, no, no. I was just going to say, I'm what I'm really looking forward to is, uh, is your demos. Gary's going to be there doing a bunch of these demos too. And Gary just does such a, it's just so much fun to be in a room with him when he gets cranking. Oh, uh, he has such a fun time. And, you know, we always joke with him because Gary swoops in. He gets to take all the glory of the demos. He does no setup. He does no <laughs> breakdown. He's just the CEO <laughs> who sort of waltzes in and it's like, shaking hands and kissing babies, giving demos. And, you know, then it's like, all right, you guys do the rest, but we love him. He, you know, obviously he's the, uh, he's the leader and, you know, it's just such an asset to have him there as well. Um, but I did want to yeah, mention Nick, also that's what's so cool about audio advice live. You can meet people like that. You can meet exactly. And you know what, maybe yeah. if you're lucky, he'll sign the SB 3000, uh, he'll <laughs> autograph that for the winner and, and maybe that'll devalue it. Maybe it'll add value. I don't know. It depends on who wins it. Um, <laughs> but, uh, we'll also be, uh, partnering with JVC and they're going to have some really killer video demonstrations, but here we're going to have our flagship SB 16 ultra subwoofers, uh, set up in there as well as a, uh, 5.2.2 surround sound system. So um, we'll have multiple demonstrations, both in the hotel suites and then in JVC's larger demo area where they're going to be showing off some of their really cool new gear. So um, we're excited to be there on multiple levels. You know, I think you guys have talked about how important the art of the demo is, and we take that very seriously. We curate our content list. We try to find specific demos that emphasize the center channel the subwoofer, the Dolby Atmos height effects, all these different elements of home theater that I think get people really excited and motivated to want to engage their passion. So uh, that's really what our presence is going to be about. And, uh, you know, we'll give away some free stuff and, and have a lot of fun doing it. Fantastic. Thanks so much for being here. And thanks for being at the show. I'm very much looking forward to seeing my SVS boys when I when we get there. Yeah, uh, really we, we can't that. wait. How cool it is to see a lot of these uh, brand partners working really closely together. So, you know, as Nick mentioned, JVC is bringing their brand new uh, 8K laser projectors to the show. So we're going to have great two channel experiences and then also like the best of the best in terms of home theater experiences that you can imagine. And so SBS is providing the full audio for that experience, which is going to be just awesome. And Stuart is going to have an amazing screen. So it's just going to be a first class experience. And it's just really cool to see those guys working together because they're so complimentary. So thanks again, Nick, for, for supporting us in such a big way. 
Hey, it's great company to be in, and uh, I love what you guys are doing. And uh, you know, I hope you guys overtake Munich because that is the, uh, <laughs> I guess, de facto biggest, most successful audio show in the world. But I think you guys have a, an inroad to really top it. Yeah, thanks. You know, it's gonna. Uh, we we've, we've actually talked about this. Uh, Jonathan and I had this conversation, and and I think I took him by surprise when when I actually said this. But this is the only show that I've ever seen in the United States where the actual manufacturers are here. That's very much like Munich. And so I'm trying to talk Jonathan and the guys next year into really doing a Munich like thing and doing like a trade day prior, um, a trade day or two prior to the show. Nobody's doing that in the United States. And it's something I think that we need. In fact, this show, the way you guys have put it together, if you didn't do anything else to it, I really believe this is what the United States needs at this point. So uh, once again, you know, hat my hats off to you. I think everybody in the room. And by the time this whole show is finished, um, there's going to be a lot of people talking about it and glad that they glad that they showed up. So hey, next time I'm going to bring up, <laughs> I cannot believe how fast this, this time is going. Uh, we're going to bring in John uh, from, from Debbie LA. Uh, how are you doing, buddy? Hey, I'm pretty good. I can't complain. It's a little warm out, but I'm dealing with it. Yeah. And you guys are going to be, if, if you don't know Debbie LA, um, it's this really, really cool company out of France. The first time I ever saw them, and I didn't put a, I should have put a picture of the, uh, the phantoms, uh, up there, these, these tiny little speakers that go down to like, I don't know, what do they go down to John? Like DC? <laughs> 14 Hertz. 14 Hertz. Like, they're four, they're 14 Hertz away from DC. So these things like, are <laughs> just, oh, you're going to show them? Yeah, there you go. Okay, well, you can you can kind of see. Yeah, you can't even see them. <laughs> as good as it gets. <laughs> they're, they're they're incredible. Yeah, and I'm guessing you guys are going to have those those uh, spattered around the the show, right? Oh, of course. And and now we play vinyl through them. Now that we have our Arch Phono Pre to integrate oh. into the system, and what a fun setup that is! Fantastic. I know Jeff Coates is going to be doing a bunch of vinyl stuff too. Um, I've actually got one of their. Uh, their phono preamps that I just absolutely love. By the way, most of the people at Cobuzz, um, in fact, when I say most, I think all of us are, are huge vinyl fans, uh, just about as much as we are uh, streaming fans. And we all have turntable rigs and, you know, really enjoy it. We don't look at, uh, uh, we don't look at this as like, you know, vinyl uh, against uh, digital. I think both formats absolutely complement each other. In fact, I'll, I won't even buy an album until I've listened to it on Cobuzz and make sure I like the tunes and make sure it's really recorded well. But you guys are going to be showing a new uh, sound bar. Yeah. Yeah, we just came out with this. It's called Dion, and uh, we actually unveiled it at Axpona, and it's been really well received. Um People have been loving it. Really immense low end integrated subwoofers, 17 total drivers. Um, you can actually rotate the center channel on it if you want to wall mount it, and it reorients all the channels and redistributes them intelligently. And it sounds great with music as well. I'm looking forward to uh, I'm looking forward to hearing that. I mean, there's a million sound bars out there, but if you guys see the way this thing is actually put together, this is like a real piece of audio gear. This isn't you know a couple of speakers with a little you know cheap amplifier in there. This is like got some super technology behind it. So uh, I think this is going to take the sound bar technology to another another level. And I know Klipsch has got an, uh, a sound bar that I heard not long ago that just totally blew me away. This is a this is a category that is has really come a long way in the last four or five years. These guys have done incredibly well at Exponent. They literally was a line out the door, you know, waiting to get into to hear the new Dion, which is awesome. And then we're also really excited to work with John and DBLA. Uh, when you walk into the Sheraton Hotel from either entrance, we're going to have Phantom spread out throughout the entire lobby. So when you walk in, it's going to have a great vibe, great music, great audio. And those guys are stepping up and supporting the show in a big way. Uh, with with the I'm sorry with the Phantoms all throughout the the Sheraton Hotel, so that's going to be a lot of fun. So what at what point at what time are we going to be able to you know get down to the lobby and be able to crank this up to like eleven? All day, all weekend. We got the entire <laughs> hotel all weekend. Nobody's going to get in trouble for playing music too loud. 
And of course, they're all going to be playing it on Cobas. So we're incredibly yeah. excited about it. <laughs> Are you sure about that, Jonathan? <laughs> about the money? <laughs> What's that? Our guys might test that. Oh, I know they will. And I'm sure yeah. that if anybody, they've got the, uh, the speakers to do it, which we'll let you guys talk about here in a second. I'm definitely, I'm definitely going to take you up on that. And I, we're going to take that challenge. And you, I'm, this may be the one thing during this whole live stream that you are sorry that you even <laughs> said. But hey, you know, you're the one who said it. <laughs> next, <laughs> next up, we've got uh, Rotel. And you guys have got some really cool stuff that you're bringing as well, too. What, the new Diamond Series, right? Yeah, so we, like I said, the other day we got a chance to have a nice hour-long conversation with Jonathan and Nick about all the stuff that we're bringing. You can find that on their YouTube. A real quick overview, we've got the Diamond Series, which is a true celebration of our 60 years of heritage and family ownership and family stewardship. Throughout the brand, you can see a lot of, of details that harken back to some of our classic amps, as well as utilizing the architecture and technology from our Michi, which is our true high-end stuff, in a slightly smaller package so that more people can get access to it. And on the topic of the Michi, we're going to have two really big Michi setups there, one of which is going to be powering some of our very high-end Sonus Faber speakers from our sister brand, Sonus Faber. And another one's going to be powering a set of speakers from uh, someone who I'm not going to ruin their, their reveal, uh, but I'm sure he'll tell you about it here in a little bit. We're really excited. This is The Michi stuff is the true gem of hi-fi. If you haven't heard it or haven't experienced it, this is your chance. And this is the stuff that is kind of what dreams are made of, but dreams that you can catch. So we're really excited to show it to more people. Well, this is a good segue. David, are you talking? Because I lost you. Yeah, we lost you, David. Oops, sorry about that. Yeah, I was there going, is. That's, this is the perfect setup for project for for Jeff Coates because Jeff yeah. is real working with Rotel as well. So Jeff, you guys are bringing some pretty cool stuff in too. Yeah, we really are. So it's between, you know, the, the, all the different brands, uh, part of both Fine Sounds Group and of course Macintosh. Um, but our big highlight from a project standpoint is going to be something we were delighted to share with Leon a few months back, this concept of balanced phono. Uh, you know, when you look at this sort of smallest, most delicate signal in your whole audio chain, it's typically what's coming off of that phono cartridge, especially when you're using a moving coil cartridge. Uh, so we're going to be showing a brand new line of phono preamps that operate truly balanced, um, unbelievably low noise, huge dynamic range. These things just sound amazing. Uh, so we're going to have a couple of different phono preamps that feature that technology, as well as a new line of turntables that offer a true balanced connection. So pretty excited to uh, to be demonstrating that. I don't know if we had any. Uh, I just gave sent you a cover a couple. Yeah, there's a, just kind of a little preview that using that mini XLR connector to actually keep the positive, negative, and chassis ground separate for both channels. So very cool tech. Um, and who'd have thought that there was new technology to talk about in LP playback, which has been you know, pretty uh, pretty set in stone since the late 1940s. Uh, but you know, very very cool stuff. On the other side, and I'll just a quick one, because I got to call out my friends at Macintosh and Sonos Faber who are not on the call. Uh, but Mark, we are coming for you, buddy, because we've got the Macintosh reference system, uh, with the big set of the XRT 1.1K uh, line array loudspeakers. Uh, so this is going to be like sophomore year in the dorms all over again. We're going to be battling it out. Bring it on. Who's got the biggest, baddest <laughs> hi-fi. Bring I it on. I can't wait. <laughs> That's right. Uh, and then, of course, we'll have, yeah, so does Faber. We're going to be showing our Lilium. So beautiful set of reference loudspeakers par uh, powered by Rotel Michi. Uh, just going to have a lot of really cool stuff on, on offer from the whole group. But delighted to be here. That sounds great, Jeff. We're really looking forward to seeing you. And, you know, I was just about to bring on uh, someone else, but, you know, you kind of dropped the gauntlet. So we're going to have to have to <laughs> talk to Mark a little bit about, about Clips because these guys are bringing in the people talk about heavy artillery right oh yeah oh. Man, it's like it, 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 these guys aren't playing this is clips i believe it's uh mark correct me if i'm wrong these are like the 75th year anniversary yeah. those yeah these are actually not the photo <laughs> uh, that's, the key ones. There there we, the, that's the photo there we go yeah yeah so let me just open to say that what a thrill for everybody who's going to attend to hear some extraordinary audio equipment from everybody. You know, I, I, this is a great opportunity for people. If they go to audio vice, you know, they can hear most of this stuff, but to, to see it on a grand scale at this event, how cool this is, you're going to make memories and hopefully they drag along 
all the teenage kids right. and all the emerging market market customers, all the youth to get them excited and fired up about this stuff, right? This so we are really bringing, cool. Yeah, these things. Okay, so uh, <laughs> I like the the picture, the photo with Jonathan next to these. That gives a little scale. <laughs> yeah, I got one in there. So I got to see yeah, yeah. a couple of mm -hmm. times. One at the clip, yeah. event, but then at the at Expona, I think I had a picture of me standing next to him. I'm, I'm you know, about 5'10", 5 5'11". 5 and these things are bigger than I am and obviously much, much wider. So, I mean, these things are just incredible. Well, you got to send them separate crates for each speaker. Yeah, two, they're, they're crates, four crates. and Four crates total. Yeah, yeah and, and it's, you know, approaching 400 pounds. And so the Jubilee is what this is. And, and uh, just the quick version for everybody, this is what Paul Klipsch really intended in his uh, later years uh, as the, the final answer beyond the Klipsch horn, if you will. It's a two-way, fully horn-loaded system. It has an active digital crossover, and it's, it's going to make it easy to buy amp. So you could even have tubes on the high end. You could have solid state on the bottom end, super precision matching of the drivers, time alignment. So these are just jaw dropping new flagships for the company. And, and at 76 years this year, you know, this is going to be going forward for many, many, many decades to come. These are just extraordinary. And um, if anybody's interested in hearing the full frequency spectrum, with an effortless 125 decibel output capability with minimal distortion. If anybody's interested in that, I, there might be a few in this group. <laughs> uh, come on out and check them out. But these these will test your, uh, there it is. There it is. <laughs> no, that's fantastic. That's perfect. Full scale, right? This will test your, uh, Jonathan, the the security measures at the hotel, and, uh, the <laughs> yeah. authorities. If when you will. I say you won't get in trouble for for playing your music too loud, maybe that's the slight caveat. There is uh, with the exception of the Jubilee. Well, I think the the team got in trouble at Expona, so they're gonna like take it to the next level. I think with these, yeah. but uh, it's it's gonna be a lot of fun, and that's the whole point. We want people to hear something they've never heard before, and that includes us in the industry. Everybody, I mean, it's it's a cool opportunity for all of us to, to check this out. It's really something special from a founding father of the hi-fi industry. So they're made in USA, designed and engineered. So uh, come on out and you're going to be among friends for sure. Yeah, we're going to have a big keynote session uh, at Audio Vice Live and we're going to be using the Jubilees as the PA system for this keynote session. So imagine you're walking into the keynote from our CEO, Scott Newham, and you've got Thunderstruck rocking to, you know, on, on the Jubilees. They're going to rock for sure. And then uh, we've got a couple great content sessions throughout the course of the weekend. But when we're not uh, having these content sessions, you know, Mark, if he's there, and Roy and the rest of the team are just going to be playing lots of cool music. So you're going to be able to hear them all weekend long, right by where our main registration is. And so, again, great way to really highlight the, the Jubilees. And again, we really appreciate you guys sending all 400 pounds here to Raleigh in just a few weeks. You know, this is what, uh, if, if any of you have been to the Munich show, you see pretty wild, exotic stuff. Some people show up there and don't show up at another hi-fi show for years. Uh, you see really some, really some strange stuff, but you do see uh, systems that are price of a Ferrari or more. And, and to, to give that opportunity here on U.S. soil for people to come around uh, from the area and maybe even fly in from all parts of the country to see some pretty special product. What a great opportunity. What a great event uh, you all are hosting. Fantastic. Yeah, really cool. And just lastly on that note, because I know Ricky teed it up, I want to make sure we actually called it out, is that to power those Jubilees, we really appreciate Ricky and his team from Rotel. Ricky, what are you guys going to be using for that? So we're going to be using a P5 Michi preamp. Uh, as the front end, and on to power each of the speakers, we're using one of our S5 stereo Michi power amps. That's putting out 800 watts per channel going into this thing. So, I'm I'm really excited to actually be able to put these things to work. If you've read my hat, loud amps save lives, and <laughs> you're really, really going to put that to the test. Yeah, wow, I'm excited. So, just another great way. We appreciate you know all of our brand partners, you know, working closely together to just to, to bring some incredible experiences. Yeah, and then so next up, we've got my old buddy, John Durda from Mobile Fidelity. And we had mentioned a little earlier, I know that this isn't like the, 
the main thing they're going to be showing, but I guarantee you will be seeing a whole bunch of these throughout the show, the, the new Hi-Fi Rose, uh, which has become, God, I hate to say it because uh, I've got so many partners in this area, but this has become my very favorite streamer. It's the, the, the nobody's got a good <laughs> like, and I've got some killer streamers. I mean, I've got the bar talk on my desk. I love that thing. Uh, it's my favorite unit that I've got, but from a operation standpoint, from a uh, graphic user interface, uh, somebody tell me anything that can come close to this. I haven't found it. If there is, um, I'm absolutely loving mine. Uh, thanks, David. And thanks again for that introduction to Hi-Fi Rose. Uh, it has really taken off. It's been in the market less than a year now. And I think uh, guys like Audio Advice bringing it on, it says a lot about the quality of the product. Uh, we have had a ton of success and fun with Hi-Fi Rose. We'll be showing not just the streamers, but the new RA-180 uh, integrated amplifier. Which Ooh, I should have showed that, that. yeah. Yeah, I think uh, you may have a photo of that somewhere, but that's uh, their big 400 watt by two uh, amplifier. We also plan on having a new product from Hi-Fi Rose. I can't get into too many details about, but this will be the uh, the public debut, I think globally, uh, of that product, as long as uh, all the shipping arrives on time. You know, what I get the sense of listening to uh, Mark and Jeff, I don't know if, if Jonathan Stevens did this to you guys too. <laughs> But Jonathan would send me emails like, hey, hey, Durda, you know, so-and-so's bringing this. What are you planning on bringing? <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. He did that to you, too? I, I believe it. Oh, <laughs> Jonathan Job well is done. a great Give away all my strategy. Come on. Yeah, Jonathan's you, a great salesman. Leon's got a great guy. Come on. <laughs> you so no pressure, John. Jonathan. No pressure. You know, Clips is bringing in the Jews. And, yeah, that's the yes, <laughs> coming strong. What Obviously, Mac Macintosh is bringing in. A hundred thousand dollar SUV. I think they're bringing two of them. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, John. I think may try to one up everybody. Talk about being able to see things that cost you know as much as a Ferrari. Yeah, and I'm excited. How much fun is this? You know, we yeah. get to, the, the, these <laughs> guys trying to one up each other is maybe the most fun gonna that I'm going to have all year long because it's all in good fun. Well, all of these folks are they could be in competition with us, but we're all good friends. We all just really like each other a lot and. The, sure. Just the industry in general. Um, I'm like Leon. Uh, I'm I still pinching myself that that people pay us to do this. That's so much yeah, have fun and listen to stuff. Yeah, it yeah. It's it's great. You know, I'll I'll have I'm 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 just gonna go all out, guys. I'm you know you guys are bringing your big guns. I'm gonna go ahead and bring my big guns too. I'm gonna bring all. 80 million cuts, every single one of them. <laughs> it's, it may take me a while to unpack them and pack them back up, but I just want to let you know that that's my commitment to you. I, I just, it, that's how much love I have for this thing. I appreciate that. Step it up in a big way. <laughs> hey, Dave, when you were talking about the early days, 30,000 tracks and the pain of demo, you know, the, the, the assortment now, 80 million, you, you need to say it like, like Dr. Evil. You have to say 80 million. Demo tracks. <laughs> We've all been through the pain of bad demos, but Kobuz has made it uh, just a wonderful reality to have great music so accessible at a moment's notice. Uh, it's high quality. Uh, the fact that you have the reference recordings catalog, that right there pushed me over. I was just like, oh, my goodness, this is great. So thank you on behalf of our company. We, we've been working with you for a little while. And, and I know everyone else who, once you, once you have Cobuzz, everybody, I mean, you're kind of hooked, right? Yep. Yeah. We've got it playing in both stores 24-7. Let's right? see what uh, MoFi is bringing. You guys are trying to that's put it off. I don't want anyone to know. <laughs> that's really, I, I kind of saved this for the very, la very oh, last. Okay. Uh, but John, tell us about the Piega system that you guys. Yeah. So after Jonathan have. baiting us. <laughs> <laughs> we uh, called our friends at Piega from Switzerland and said, uh, are those, are, are your new flagship speakers ready? And uh, they said, oh, well, they've shipped to Dubai, which this photo is from the very first pair at a Dubai showroom. Uh, but, you know, we can get you a pair by next year. I said, no, no, no. Clips is showing Jubilees, BMW showing Nautilus. Like we need to show the big stuff. And so we were able to cut in line and get their new master line source uh, LTDs which I believe this will be the very first show in the world with these loudspeakers. And you can see it's about a six foot tall ribbon line source. 
It's four boxes. So kind of like the old Infinity IRS is you've got two line sources for woofers and then two for the mids and highs on the ribbon side. So it's a four box system. These things are huge, very heavy. Uh, this is not like the good old days at Peachtree or what you're doing now, David. This stuff weighs a ton. Uh, so we're flying in the whole MoFi team uh, to so support this. Uh, we'll have these Piegas. We're also going to show them with the new balanced audio technology Rex 500 amplifier, which is a big 500 watt by two fully balanced solid state amp. We're bringing all kinds of toys. Uh, we'll have three active systems. This will be the big one. But another thing I learned from you is one system's never enough when we did trade shows together. Uh, we'll also be showing the little Piega Ace wireless loudspeakers in the same room. And then we'll have a Those are also 200 pounds a piece, but John's been working out. I'm trying, man. I'm on that Wisconsin cheese curd diet. <laughs> uh, then we'll have a second standard room, which will have kind of what, you know, a more real world, less of a supercar uh, system in it as well. So people can experience that. So <laughs> it's going to be a lot of work. Like I said, we're bringing the whole team and we're really excited to see everybody. What an opportunity to hear some of the best horn speakers, some of the best dynamic driver speakers. And here's a big, big pair of ribbon loudspeakers. So not only are you hearing top of the line products, you're hearing very different technologies. And uh, mm -hmm. I think for people that aren't initiated in this, even mm -hmm. for us in the industry, this is going to be a great experience. Yeah. And Martin Logan's also bringing the Neola. So it's just, you know, lots of great experiences, you, you know, different styles. And so you've you know, got I've, everybody, Jonathan. <laughs> 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 uh, I got a few more cards up my sleeve, but yeah, thank you guys for stepping up. John, thanks for stepping up. I mean, that obviously took a lot to, to pull that off and to have those here for the show, it's, you know, certainly means a lot. And uh, I mean, talk about just really, really cool experiences. It's, it's going to be a ton of fun. So yeah, thanks for bringing those to the show. It's, yeah, I think we're all excited to hear them. So before we've got like 179 comments that we just really didn't get to probably don't don't have to. But you guys, after the show, make sure that you go back on. And uh, if, if the comments are pertaining to you, uh, either answer or, you know, just say something if you would. Um, well, believe it or not, we've been going a little bit over an hour, which kind of takes us to the end. But I don't want to end this thing without uh, without just going through and asking all of you sort of collectively, did we, what didn't we talk about that we should have brought up? And I apologize if I didn't. Ooh, silence. I think there's a couple, you know, like I said, the incredible audio, incredible home theater, you know, like I said, SVS is going to be a big, big part of, of an awesome home theater experience. We've also got Sony showing up in a big way, which is going to be awesome. They're bringing their 7,000 ES. Uh, which is just an amazing home theater projector. And then they're also going to be bringing their GTZ 380, which is like a commercial grade level you know, home theater projector. So we're going to have some amazing, amazing home theater experiences. So I want to make sure people definitely know about those as well. So it's going to be a ton of fun. Yeah, we've uh, also got some great panel discussions too. That's right. Uh, David, you're on one of them, but uh, we've got some good topics lined up for people who are interested in getting more educated about this really fun hobby. Concerts too, right? We're, it's not just yes. about the gear. You have some live music. That's yes. right. We got Roger Waters is in town Thursday night. We've got uh, Kevin Hart is doing stand up on Saturday night. We've got Jack Johnson and uh, Smokey Robinson are in town. So it's just going to be a rocking weekend in Raleigh. Uh, it's going to be a great weekend in Raleigh. So again, you know, if you get the chance, come on by. There's going to be so many great things to see, and, and I can't I can't impress enough. You know how much we appreciate everybody's support of this uh, big big initiative, and so many folks behind the scenes. You know, at Audio Vice that are really really. Uh, just going all in. So special shout out to Heather. Absolutely. Uh, yes. She has just like been unbelievable. I tried to get her to, to be on the show because she's, you know, she's really had a lot to do with this, but she always makes everyone feel so welcome. Yeah. And I just want to just shout out and just tell her, thank you so much for all of your dedication and hard work. She has been unbelievable. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, folks, Thank you so much for joining me. Um, you guys all hang out. I'm going to end the broadcast, but we'll, we'll all still be able to, to see each other. Everyone, uh, this is uh, the show has been about Audio Advice Live. It's going to be at the Sheridan Raleigh Hotel, August 19th through 21st in Raleigh. If there's any way that you can make it, please join us. Uh, for the uh, manufacturers that, that are not 
uh, going to, that are watching this and that are not going to be there, make sure that you get in touch with those guys uh, next year. If you've got a retail outlet that loves doing shows like this, there's a bunch of great retailers that do, um, that do shows like this that maybe not know about them. After the show, get in touch with the guys from Audio Advice. They're, it's, this honestly isn't all about the store Audio Advice, although we are very proud and, and, and uh, love to help promote these guys are truly wonderful partners of ours. But, you know, as Jonathan said, you know, everybody's welcome. We just want this to be the best show in the United States. And I'm going, that is just so cool. So once again, thank you everybody for taking your time and, uh, Hey, everybody out there in, uh, in internet land. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, and, uh, Hey, we'll see you next time on audio advice. Li uh, <laughs> <Cobalt Live. laughs> All right. Thanks all. Bye, everybody. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.